But if your whole book was based on just wanting to achieve and wanting people to notice you, it feels a little bit more superficial. That's why layer it in, go dig deep, go down into those primal uh, fears. And then right at the top, morality, creativity, spontaneity, uh, lack of prejudice, acceptance of facts. Now, for example, if your character was an artist, and this was all just about an urge to be creative, it kind of isn't enough to drive a whole book. You know, for example, if the character is from a very a family of lawyers, everybody in the family is lawyers, but they want to be a sculptor, and nobody in the family gets it, there is conflict there. There is a need to <coughs> let go, of, you know, to, to uh, fulfill the creative urge, but it's not really enough to sustain a whole book. So again, you want to dig deep to, is it part of love and belonging? Is it a feeling of always being an outsider in the family and wanting to belong? Just by digging into those deeper layers, um, you deepen the story and get the reader really drawn in. So, to start off at the beginning, the main character wants something, they have a goal. And as we've said before, the goals can be both external and internal. So the external goal is wanting the job promotion or wanting to catch the arsonist. The internal goal is to survive the fire or to save the brother, or to pay off the brother's gang and debts. Those are, um, so this is, you set up right in the first few pages, and ideally this should be the first chapter, because you want the reader to understand what this book is going to be about, what is the driving force of this book. My character is this man sitting and he's sketchy, looks like he's on the ground sketching. And I think that when I first read it, What happened is that he was, uh, they kept pushing him to make sure that he produced more um, wear out ads, funny, making him look different to any of the ads that you see on TV. And um, the more he produced them, the, more the client would come back and say, no, no, we need to turn it down. And as a consequence, he stopped drinking and ended up in the top. And um, it was in the hotel that he actually made himself into a stupor. And eventually decided, you know, this is not what I want to be, and it's not what I've ever wanted to do. I just had to, I was supposed to do something after school, so I studied, I want to be an artist. And that's where he's sitting on the road and he's sketchy, changing, changing. She uh, slightly disillusioned with her life, she goes off to the UK, has a Inherited diary. This is very Hollywood. And uh, goes off to Stonehenge, where she knows her grandfather stayed on after the war had been. But simultaneously, she's taking a, a sabbatical from her husband, and he doesn't know it. Let's talk about creating these characters. Uh, you've all done such an amazing job, anyway. So what do I have left to teach? <laughs> okay.